Hello and welcome back to Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2021 and in today's video we're going to take a look at this. It is the Weinsberg Cara Compact 600 MEG Edition Pepper. Kind of rolls off the tongue doesn't it? I don't quite know who makes these names up. It's nothing new to the market but I thought I'd show you because it's a fantastic example of a compact six meter motorhome. So without further ado let's take a tour of the exterior a wide angle sweep of the interior and then we'll go into the interior in a little more detail. Let's go. Okay, so here we go. We snuck in early. So there's a few vacuum cleaners going in the background. Apologies for that. But this is the exterior of the Weinsberg Cara Compact 600 MEG Edition Pepper. Dog not included. So as you can see, if I hadn't put my rucksack in the way, lovely wheels, colour matched bumpers, and it's got an awning as well. So in this particular trim, this motorhome is here at the show advertised at 65,000 euro. And what's great too is it has a maximum technical permitted laden mass of 3,500 kilos and your payload is 455 kilos. So 455 kilos. Now if there's only two of you, don't forget you've got to deduct the weight of your passengers. So if there's two of you, you have to deduct 75 kilos from that. If there are four of you, which I can't imagine there would be, but if there were, don't forget, you'd have to deduct 225 kilos from that 455 before you can get the weight of all your bits and pieces that you can put in this rather large garage. It's got lights at both ends. You've got some shelves on the other side. Let's go around. I see on this one, they've also put a very hefty motorcycle attachment. So of course, if you're putting a you know, 200 kilo motorbike on the back, it's not going to leave you a lot of payload left. But, you know, that's, that's to do... Uh, I'll link to my video on payloads in the description below to, so you can further understand that if there are four of you, it's not a realistic expectation to have a motorbike on the back. If there's only two of you, then you'll probably be okay. This is an interesting concept, the easy travel box. So you have all your bits and pieces in one easy to access place. And I like this. Now, big thumbs up to Weinsberg for this. You've got your taps for your tanks here, nice and simple. And you've got your fresh water filling there, your electricity output there, everything in one simple place. That Weinsberg is a big thumbs up from me. So that is the exterior. We're on the Fiat Ducato chassis as, as are most motorhomes. It's very smart. It really is very smart. So now let's take a look at the inside. I'll give you a sweep with the wide angle camera and then we we'll go into the interior in a little more detail. Let's go.
Okay, so there you have a brief tour of the interior. Now let's go in a little more detail. We have a one piece entry door. Nice big robust handle on that. And a couple of neat retractable coat pegs in the top there. As I say, we've also got the awning here on the outside in this particular trim. As we go in, there's no surprises with the layout. It's very, it's a very camper van type of layout. And there's a good reason that everyone uses this. <laughs> it's because it works. Obviously, when you're looking at a motorhome in a six meter body shell, easy to park, easy to pitch, you're gonna make compromises on your interior living space. And here is your compromise, the dinette area. Obviously the driver's seat will swivel around to make a nice sort of dining area for four. But those two seats there, those two travel seats, they are compact. They are compact. If you have a, if you're on the large size, you're going to find that rather a squish. There's two of you. But normally these vans are used by couples or single people, so it's not normally an issue. What I do like, I've noticed, I've got this lovely sort of bronze detail on the overhead lockers. Really, really sets that off. I really do like that. So staying at the front with the Fiat cab, you can see also we've got this lovely sunroof above the cab. And we also have cab blinds, which is always a class touch. I think once you've had cab blinds, you never want to be without them again. They're so convenient. And uh, don't forget too, if you're parking on a sunny day, they help keep the sun out. They help keep your valuables out of sight of low lives. So yeah, big thumbs up for the cab blinds. As we come around this way, we can see that it's got Truma heating and hot water, iNet ready or iNet X ready, which is your, so you can control it from your phone if you so wish. I've never quite really embraced that myself, but I'm sure people who love gadgets and apps will, will like that. Kitchen block, typical for a van in mainland Europe. I obviously don't know what a British kitchen block might look like. Weinsberg generally, they tend not to anglicize them too much. So we've got a little kitchen extension there. And a three burner hob, which is actually quite good in a van of this class. Quite often you only get two. Nice solid drawers. That's a very good tap. Just nice and tall, we can get a kettle under there. Yeah, I approve. And then we have, this is a three-way fridge, works off gas, mains, and then 12 volts while you're driving along. Does not work off 12 volts while you are stationary though. It's a huge fridge freezer. So that's very good. We'll give you a swing round and give you a view into the bedroom. Two single beds, but you can actually fill the gap. You can see the bolster cushion there for, uh, well, you know, if you're feeling a little bit uh, <coughs> intimate. Some neat storage lockers here. I like these. Got some sort of a, yeah, this is a flexible. Now then, as we come into the washroom, You can see we have a Dometic toilet as opposed to the usual Thetford. Now I've heard mixed reports about these folks. Some people find they're okay and others just do not get on with them. Now I have no personal experience of a Dometic toilet. I've never had a loan vehicle with one. 
so I cannot pass comment. But I would encourage you to do some research online, look at some forums and chat rooms and so on, and see what people think of the domestic toilet to say, I've heard mixed reports, but I wouldn't like to say one way or the other. Oh, there's a nice big mirror for that opportunity for a hello. Sorry. Now then, I hear you cry. How on earth are we meant to access the lavatory with that wash basin in the way? I'll tell you how you do that. He says confidently, pretending he knows what he's doing. How, if I can do it one handed, hang on. You pull this button up here, and if you're not holding a camera, you would use your other hand to slide the wash basin out of the way. If you're holding a camera, you use your knee. And there you go. The wash basin is now out of the way, and you can use the loo. Obviously, if someone's in the shower, you can't, but you wouldn't really want to be using the loo if someone's in a shower. And the great thing is, of course, you can kind of leave it there until you just until you want to use the shower. So that is a really, really cool solution because you've got the, the separate shower compartment and then the sliding wash basin. So yeah, really, really neat. So there you have it, folks. That is a quick tour of the rather lovely Weinsberg Cara Compact 600 MEG Edition Pepper. Why it's called that, I afraid I don't know. But I like it. I do. I like it. I do like it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tour of the Weinsberg Cara Compact 600 MEG Edition Pepper. Uh, really cracking van, and as I say, a great example of what you can expect for a compact six meter motorhome that actually thinks it's a camper van. Really good. So I hope you enjoyed that, folks. If you did, you know what to do. Please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't already. It just leads me to say from Dougal and from me, Thanks for churning it. There. Did you like that one, Dougal? Did, did you like it? Were you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited? He never smiles. Oh, Dougal, cheer up.